All right, guys, welcome back. Here's our update here. So, the wind, as you guys can see from the motion of the trees, has stopped. We are out of our tornado warnings. All the tornado warnings have ceased. I am saturated and completely soaking wet after like five changes of clothes. But anyway, as you guys can see, the important part is the display has survived. Um, we've got lots and lots of puddles here. Like, my yard is like completely soaked. Like, it's his foot's in damn near all the way submerged. That cable is submerged right there, actually. Um, you guys can see just how bad all this is. Of course, I have all the runoff here. Um, skeleton there is okay. He's okay. This one kind of came forward a little bit. And that one's alright. So, looks pretty good. There. The inflatables. Um, hopefully no motors are damaged. They should all be okay. They usually tend to survive rain, however, this is a lot of heavy rain with things submerged. Uh, but, on a thankful note, the heavy rain has saved these guys from the heavy winds. The heavy winds would have completely destroyed all of this. So, we should be a-okay. Um, at most, we'll have some fuses that might need to be changed out, but overall, everything looks to be a Okay, a little bit of wind motion right now. You guys can, I don't know if you really can see. Trees are, are blowing a little bit right now, but overall the storm has subsided. All of the tornado warnings again are gone. Um, <laughs> holy crap for how many tornadoes actually came down today. Oh, we got a stake kind of coming out of the ground here. Push you back down. Um, may have to reposition that one. Got some flooding a lot of flooding here actually that's got to get drained out and that is uh, that's pretty bad there so i think tomorrow morning before i go to work and assist with cleaning up people's yards that have actually sustained a lot of damage i'm actually going to come out here early and make sure all of my stuff is uh completely okay where it needs to be we'll actually inflate the video or <laughs> Yeah, inflate the videos. Yeah, that's what I need to do. We'll inflate the inflatables and, um, you know, we will uh, get all the water off of them because even though I'm okay with water being on them, that's actually quite a bit. Um, let's see, it looks like that solar light's not working. There we go, now it's kicking on. Rain is still pretty heavy. A lot of heavy rain still, which is not phenomenal. But like I said, <laughs> I'm so happy. They survived the hurricane and the tornadoes. So this guy's key feature was he had the two boulders. He's also strapped to the flagpole here. This guy didn't have any problems. Well, it looks like his tail kind of came forward a little bit, maybe. Yeah, his tail's on a little bit of a slant. Tail came up. Yeah, yeah, so hit. So, retract that. This guy did have some problems. I'm gonna have to restake that a little bit. His tail came loose, but that's probably just from the saturation ground there. Um, as far as our big guy here, as water hits the lens, um, you know, I put all these tires on here, all the bricks. Again, taking the arms off was a huge help on this, but he survived. So, now you guys can see, at least you can't see what it takes to break these things. Like, they are definitely, you know, as long as you have them weighed down properly, they will survive what nature is going to throw at them. So that's definitely a good note. There's our guy in the well there. Like I said, everything seems to be... A okay. 
So funny enough, my wife didn't know I was out here filming this and she called it because she's like, I see light flashing outside in the window. I'm like, eh, eh, that's me. <laughs> Don't worry there. So hopefully all of this, uh, this saturation here, like I'll show you guys, like it's uh, pretty deep. Holy shit. <laughs> like that's, that's a lot of water in the yard here. Um, then like even over here, like this is, Thank God that's not submerged, but this is submerged here. Whoa, sliding, slipping and sliding here. That's all, that's all wet. Um, but everything seems to have survived, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so there's our, there's our update. Thanks guys for all the good wishes and prayers and everything for everything to survive. We've made it. <laughs> They're okay, so. Can't ask for anything more than that. And I do want to say to anybody that did go through any misfortune through this, you know, it's unfortunately it's 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 nature, and this is the nature of the beast, so to speak. This is what happens. I was fully prepared to lose all my all my stuff tonight. I, I really thought I really thought I was going to be losing everything. Um, you know, so I'm very thankful and happy that I still have all this stuff. Um, you know, to be able to show you guys and, you know, share with the community and everything. Um, but my sympathy does go out to anybody that did suffer any loss today or tonight. But right now, we are through the clearing of the storm. It's just the rain. But the rain is going to subside in a few hours. And honestly, with a little more rain, the rain isn't really causing me any harm. Aside from making the ground a little bit wet and making him kind of detach a little bit and... I'm sure the inflatables are probably not anywhere near ready to go up. Once they go up, they're probably going to rip right out of the ground um, due to all the saturation that they have. So I might actually not even put them up tomorrow until later in the day. At least let the ground harden just a little bit. So to anybody wondering how we handle a situation in a severe storm, this is basically it. It's just a matter of making sure everything is down. So when you guys have these skeletons, make sure that their feet, the bases are heavily weighted. I would take the arms off because right there and right there are breaking points. Um, the rest is pretty secure, so take those off there. And uh, the inflatables, once they're full of water, they won't move. Yeah, you know, we had some catastrophic damaging winds and they didn't move. They, like, they kind of shuffled around a little bit, some of them, um, but overall they did not move. They, you know, they, they moved maybe 5% of where they're at, so... Overall, I'm extremely happy with that. Um, my main concern tonight was these guys, and they proved to be a lot tougher than I thought they were. But again, it comes with some smartness and, you know, being able to, you know, manage doing something like this. So thank you guys again so much. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're new. Can't wait to show everybody new the display once it's actually up and running. And again, guys, we have another one of these skeletons awaiting to come up. See you guys in the next video. The apocalypse.